Hey guys, Trophy Curly here. Today I'm going to be launching my first YouTube video and I'm going to be showing you guys how I unravel my twists. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram and please subscribe to my channel. Let's get right into the video. I uploaded a poll on Sunday asking you guys to choose between two hairstyles and I think it was a sleek ponytail and a twist out. I kind of don't like doing twist outs because I kind of feel like they're time consuming. I spend a lot of time looking ugly before I actually look cute because these are the twists that I do. My twists are very big. I don't do small twists because I am too lazy. That takes too long. Nobody has the time, if we're being honest. Um, so the next time I put up a poll, please choose the non-twist out option. Thanks. I'm just going to show you guys the products I use um, for the twists and um, explain kind of how I did it. Use this, which is the... Eden Body Works Natural Pudding. So this is my ride or die, my go-to, my everything. And there's hair on this. I use this. This is practically done now, but this is my leave -in. These are like a combination of the three things that I use. I use this first because I do the LOC method, then the O, and then the C. I'm just going to put these up into a rubber band and then unravel each one. I'm gonna take, this looks so battered. I hope you guys can see, but it's the Lion Alternatives Rosemary Oil. I love this stuff, love it. So, I mean, obviously it's almost done. So, proof that I love it. I'm gonna take some of this, just support. Okay, some more. Focus. Oh, it's flipping on my hand. Never focused. These things happen. I'm gonna take on the first twist and unravel it in the opposite direction to what I twisted and separate. Then I let it go. We're just making sure I didn't forget any which I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I always forget one. But look at the definition on these babies. Like, look at this. Woo! So this is what it looks like after I take on all of the Swiss. I'm just going to go through and separate each one. So as you see, I'm literally just separating it where it wants to separate. I'm yeah. not forcing it to separate unnaturally. This one you can see it's frizzing, but I'm just going to form it back to this one. And I don't think it wants to separate. Well, just one more here. And at the end, I twirl it right around my finger. And you can see naturally where it wants to separate. So what I'm going to do is hold it. And the right way it wants to separate, I'm gonna pull it apart. This one I kind of doing trash at it, but and after I separate it, I twirl the ends back around my fingers in the way that it was cut in the way that it was twisted. So this was twisted this way, I think. Yeah, so that's that. You can kind of see frizzing between there. Frizzing doesn't really bother me too much. I feel like you need a little bit of frizz. So far, this is what we have. So this is what it looks like when I'm all done. I'm just gonna do a full 360 so you guys can see. And at the moment, somebody's admiring me. <laughs> That's my papa talking in the background. <laughs> I absolutely love it. My curls look so good. So you guys can let me know what you think. 
and leave me some comments wait what <laughs> leave me some comments below let me know what you'd like to see let me know if you like this video if you try my method in recurl well not recurling but twirling the end so it gives you like a lot of definition like and subscribe oh god get your friends to subscribe to me <laughs> please don't let me back okay and you wait me papa Back. Okay. I'm just gonna give. Oh, look at my highlight. Oh.